one of the nearly 60 kids at Camp Jamipa share this in common. They have suffered the death of a parent, grandparent, sibling, or other loved one, and they are all learning how to cope with that loss. But for most of the last weekend in July, when the campers gathered on the shores of Lake Coeur d'Alene, you wouldn't know it. They're just regular kids doing regular camp stuff. But they found healing surrounded by other kids who know the pain of loss. Diane Hermanson, Director of Admissions and Social Services for Hospice of Spokane, which runs the camp, says the experience helps grieving kids know they are not alone. Their interaction with the other kids uh, helps them know that other children have had these experiences. Usually they're very isolated in their um, schools and other uh, groups that they're in, but here they're surrounded by kids who um, have also had a loss. You're my face. Much of the time at camp is spent swimming, laughing, doing arts and crafts, and having fun. And there's a reason for that, says Gina Drummond, hospice CEO. It's just really nice for them to be able to come and feel safe and to be honest about the event that's in many ways shaped their lives, but also to have a really good time. And then it's time to say goodbye to other campers and to counselors. Hospice staff, including Hermanson, hope the kids will know it's okay to talk about their feelings once they return home. Separations, leaving, saying goodbye are, are all real emotionally charged. <laughs> <laughs>